Hey guys, welcome to part two of the new Q&A series, the September series. Sorry it's taking me a while to get to this, but you know, I, I just have, I've been busy trying to catch up on watching stuff, and you know, hopefully the next DVD update will be, you know, in like two weeks or something. I'm just trying to watch a lot of stuff, you know, and, be, and when I first got back, I was just catching up on a lot of TV, but I'll go right into the questions. Um, with the amount of DVDs you have, have you ever considered opening a video store? Well, no, because I mean, like most of the DVDs I have are open, and they're things I like. And if I like, you know, if I don't really want this any of the stuff, you know, I'll sell them, you know, at like a used DVD store or something like that. Um, things like that. Do you have a favorite voice actor? Probably, you know, Tom Kenny. You know, who did SpongeBob. Um, you know, he's done a lot of different voices I liked. Um, you know, and you know, a guy who voices Doug. I'm blanking on his name right now, the original Doug series, you know, and Stimpy and Ren and Stimpy. Um, though, probably those two. Um, have you seen the movie Troll Hunter? If so, what did you think of it? And I'm trying to talk quiet right now because it's 3.37 in the morning. Uh, I have not seen Troll Hunter. Hunter. I, I do need to see it, though. Have you seen the movie The Bridge? If so, keep being... If so, what did you think of it? Keep being awesome. I've never, I've never seen it. I haven't even heard of that. Given the difficulty of being successful as an actor, have you ever considered learning new skills in the field of art movies such as matte painting, movie backgrounds, or CGI? I ask your father, an artist, and perhaps he might give you an advantage. No, not really. I mean, you know, if anything else, I would direct, which I definitely, you know, I used to direct a lot of shorts and stuff. You know, the original Don and Murph were some of the best ones. The later ones were a little rushed, and you know, I didn't have the time to edit them as, as good as I would have hoped. But in the very beginning, and, you know, that's always been something that I, I liked, but not as interested in that. I wouldn't be interested in doing CGI or any of that kind of stuff. More, I really like to be in front of the camera. And I, I don't know, that's what I really like doing. And thank God I found out something that I liked. <laughs> I know you seem to love 80s films, and so do I. I know you've talked about some of your favorites, like Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure, Pee Wee's Big Adventure, Harry and the Henderson, etc. But you never talked about a movie called Real Genius with Val Kilmer. I always wondered what you thought about that movie and the actors in it. Thanks, Sean. Yeah, for some, somehow, I've never seen that one. I don't know how or I don't know why. I th I've seen clips of it, but I've never seen the whole thing. I saw you have the movie The Nun. How was that movie? I thought it was great and wanted to know if you liked it. And how many Criterion movies do you have? I have... I don't have too many Criterion ones. I, I know I have Peeping Tom... And I, I think a couple of different other ones. I don't know how many. Maybe ten. Maybe. Um, but I, the nun. I can't even remember that. Um, as, I, as far as I remember, I liked it. The day trail really make out with Lindsay Lohan and Machete. I mean, I didn't ask him, so I don't know. Hello, Sean. I was wondering if MJ. It just says I was wondering if MJ. So I don't know. <laughs> Worst animated movie. What's next for you? Um, right now, just sort of like we're waiting on dates for movies and stuff. I know I'm going to do a drive-in massacre movie, but that's not going to be until next year at some point. And there's a lot of little things all over the place, but just, you know, the dates. And then a couple things that I'm shooting for some movies, and I've shot already. Um, I just shot some for Pork Shops and this other movie. So I'm just shooting stuff for a lot of movies, too. And I just use, you know, I have a camera that I can do 1080p, and they can cut it into some of these things. Um, worst animated movie. I don't know. I don't, I don't know what would be like the worst for that. Maybe some of those weird CGI ones like Dougal. I don't think Dougal was that bad, but some of those ones in that same kind of genre, that kind of really cheesy, you know, independent CGI kind of ones. Uh, my question is, can you give me a shout out, laugh a lot, joke, but for real, what got you into movies? Where are you now? I part why are you now a part of making them? I'm more like acting in them, but what got me into movies, I've always just sort of been into movies. I think it's like my family has always been about movies. And like, you know, I've always gone to the movies on Friday. Like when I was living in Maryland, I went to the movies every single Friday. It was sort of like the thing that I always did. Even at work, it was always like a, a hassle. I, I said at the, when I worked in the movie theaters, I was like, well, I like to be off Friday because I go to the movies. When I think about it now, I'm not exactly sure why I really thought I had to do it on a Friday, but it's just kind of like I used to be sort of stuck in this same kind of, you know, 
thing of doing the same thing for years, you know, kind of like just repetitive and repetitive. And I really worked and have even now I've worked to stop doing that and to kind of do things different and shake things up. But, you know, I used to always do things the same like that. You know, I still go to, you know, the only thing I do the same always is go to Best Buy on Tuesdays. At some point, you know, all the DVD places Tuesdays. At some point, I'll do a video about that, like, you know, a new one. But I think it's just, you know, I've always watched movies as a kid. You know, as a kid, I used to go to the, you know, Blockbuster all the time. I used to go, I think, even to Blockbusters on Fridays. After school, when friends came over, we would always go and get a bunch of tapes to watch. And I would just basically, pretty much, I think, stay home a lot of the time on Saturday or Sunday and just watch the stuff I rented. And this was what I did in, you know, elementary and some, some of middle school. Then I think I stopped once once DVDs came out. Then I started buying them, especially because, you know, people don't really remember this, but the way tapes used to be was they would come out to Blockbuster before anywhere else. So you'd have to wait probably, you know, six months to a year before you could actually buy them. Now, it's I, I love how when it's out, it's out. You don't have to wait all these months to get it or anything. I guess the kind of, you know, similarity to that now is when things go to streaming and things like, you know, Red State comes out to streaming first, you know, and then comes out like two months later to DVD, but still it's not, it's easier to, you know, to get them than it used to be. And if you wanted them brand new, you could buy them from like Suncoast Saturday Night Day. I think it was like $120 for the tapes when they, were, when they first came out. What's the longest, uh, what is the longest time you've owned a movie before you watched it? I still have DVD set from 2008. I haven't watched yet. I think I probably have some stuff from then as well. Because, you know, there's some stuff that I get and then I'm like, you know, I want to have it. But I just don't, don't have any rush to watch it. Lately, you know, I try and watch things more often. But sometimes if it's like, you know, a catalog title, like a movie that I really like, but I have it on DVD and I buy the Blu-ray, I get the Blu-ray, sell off the DVD, and then eventually I'll watch the Blu-ray of it. Have you seen Big Trouble in Little China? And what is the strangest movie you've ever seen? Oh, and you, are you a fan of My Name is Earl? Well, I liked Earl in the beginning, then I kind of started, like, lost interest in it. Um, I thought Big Trouble in Little China was alright. I don't remember loving it. I haven't seen it, though, since I was probably, like, 12, 11 or 12. Um, strangest movie... I, don't know, I think Peanut Butter Solution was a pretty weird movie about uh, the kid that got scared, lost his hair, and had to put peanut butter on his hair to, for it to grow back. The solution to peanut butter that these dead homeless people told him about. Really weird movie. You know, I saw it as a kid, and I've always really liked it. Uh, what do you think of Little Wayne? I don't really know. I know Little John. Uh, on average, how many movies do you watch? Movies a day do you watch? Have you watched every movie you own? Or haven't watched everything I own? And surprisingly, a lot of people probably think I'm, like, watching, like, things all day. You know, I maybe watch one thing a day. I, I, you know, during the summer, there was a lot of TV things I watched. You know, I watched that America's Got Talent. I don't know why. I that was all right. I think because I liked Harry Mandel, so I was watching it. I've always liked him since Little Monsters. But, um, you know, I try and watch, you know, one movie a night. But, you know, sometimes it goes, like, two days I, have, I don't watch anything. And sometimes I'm just really busy and just don't have time. Um, so there's a lot of stuff I haven't watched. Hey Sean, big fan. I work at Bl Blockbuster over in the UK, and our Blu-ray deals are pretty good at the moment. Laugh a lot. Are you interested in, in traveling the world, be it to shoot movies or just out of interest? Now, I definitely would love to. Um, a European vlog movie sounds pretty epic to me. What do you reckon? Yeah, I definitely would love to do like a, you know, vlog, you know, video blog, going to Europe and going to places like that. Of course, you know, knowing me, I'd probably have to have, like, you know, one scripted segment of, like, a hostile kind of thing. You know, just, like, maybe a five-minute thing, because I couldn't help myself. And, you know, I would try and, like, have National Lampoon's vacation, you know, European vacation issues. Uh, but I definitely would like to go to Europe. I would like to go to Australia. Um, I definitely would love to do that. And, I, and the thing is, I know I will at some point. The worst part, though, is the long plane flights. But, you know, if there's potentially a movie... Um, well, whatever it shoots, called Pig Boy, that, that I will do in England. So that would be cool. But that's probably a ways off. Um, what is that? If you could act, if you couldn't act, what other job would you want to have? Like I said, probably just, probably just directing. You know, that's probably, 
you know, what I would, you know, be interested in doing, you know, if I wasn't acting, I would hear boys like swim them up. Yeah, that's probably what I would do. Um, when I make it down to California, you want to hang out? Um, I, you know, maybe sometime. I always like, you know, I'm so, always worried about meeting people from the internet until like, if I really know them well, I do. You know, I'm, I'm not, I, I know you though, specifically, but I don't, you know, want to throw that out that I'm going to do that all the time. Because, you know, I never know who I'm meeting, especially if there's one person, you know, who's a little stalker. Yeah, I don't know. Um, when I make it, yeah. So I've had my issues with that. What was the best part of working on Haunted High? What was the worst part of working on Haunted High? Well, the lucky thing about that movie was there wasn't anything that I personally just disliked. I mean, the only thing was New Orleans was hot, you know, outside, but most of it was inside. And, you know, the best thing was just, you know, getting to work on such a big movie, you know, and to go into a movie knowing what the outcome was, knowing it was going to air on TV, knowing you know, people were going to see it. Not, you know, sometimes when I do things, you know, you never know what's going to happen. You never know if it's going to get distribution, if it's going to take years and years to be picked up or come out, you know, going into it knowing and, you know, to end up getting such a big part in the thing. And, you know, sometimes I've said things about, like, I've had these bigger parts, and this one I really do. You know, I think I'm, like, the, you know, the third or fourth main person in the movie. So that was pretty cool. You know, sometimes I sort of said that I was, I sort of was, but this one I really, I, this is, like, really something I'm really happy about. And, um, why'd you move to California for the, you know, for the film work? And I hadn't had enough of Maryland. You know, I, people there in Maryland I like, you know, friends of mine, you know, Victor, Chris Lamartina, MJ, but, you know... You gotta get out of there sometimes. Could you do a Travis Tedford's Welcher's Grape Juice in French and again? Um, Welcher's Grape Juice, 100% juice, 100% kids. Um, what's your favorite pizza? Um, there's this one, I think Massachusetts Mike's is what it's called. It's in, um, it's next to the one movie theater that I go to. And I like that one. Flipping pizza is pretty good. You know, and then for like the chain ones. You know, Domino's is alright. Pizza Hut's fun. Alright, the, the wing things there are better. Um, I don't like Pizza Boys very much. No, not Pizza... No, no, no. Pizza Boys is alright. They don't have that here, though. Um, but Papa John's, that's one I never liked too much. Um, the story of you and MJ High School really happened when you yelled fuck in the bathroom, Donnie Darko style. Well, we did that like once or twice in the 12th grade when we were like really sick of it. I remember we did that, but we haven't, um, we didn't do that all the time. Um, let's see. Let us see your best impression, by the way. Good times are killing me. I'm not sure what that means. Are you excited to see the movie Drive? Well, this was older. I did see Drive. Really liked it a lot. Um, would you rather body, who would you rather body slam, slam you? Hulk Hogan or the Ultimate Warrior? Probably, you know, Hulk Hogan. When are Don and Murph going to come back? I think you and MJ should do a full-blown Don and Murph movie and put out the episodes on DVD. I would buy it. I mean, you know, the way I would have to do it, you know, is do something like that Indiegogo or something and raise money for it and really just make it be a fan thing, you know, and maybe I could find somebody to put it out. You know, I wouldn't get any money for it, I know. It would come out through this little independent company, but, you know, at some point, I mean, really what we ha I'd have to do is raise money to get MJ here to, you know, rent, you know, get a crew. And I know a lot of people that have equipment and stuff. Probably shoot on those 7D cameras. You know, I've thought about how I would do it, you know, and just get actors that are out here, people that I know, and, you know, raise like five grand or something just to have money to get MJ here, get MJ back, you know, get a hotel, you know, wherever we shoot, and, you know, pay the actors. You know, like a hundred dollars a day, something like that. You know, I mean, I wouldn't. I you need to pay people for you to want them to show up. Um, you know, I, at some point we will, but right now it's just impossible. I would need to be able to pay MJ. You know, what he makes at his job. So when he's missing, because they really count on you know the job money. So I, it would be difficult to choreograph. Um, who's the coolest actor and actress you've ever met? Probably you know like Danny Trejo. You know, from the Haunted High. MC Ganey, we're both really cool guys. Um, you know, Richard Riley, you know, some Office Space to Jump to Conclusions guy. Lynn Shea, you know, Michael Berryman. Um, you know, some, uh, who 
also like really cool that I liked. Um, you know, Linnea Quigley, you know, people like that. Um, hey, Sean, have you heard of the new DVD box set from Camp Motion Pictures, The Basement? It includes Video Violence 1 and 2, Cannibal Camp Out, Gary Cohen's Yet to Be Released, Captives, and a lost 8mm film, The Basement. I have, I, I saw the box set, I do need to get that. And, I, you know, I was originally going to put the Lust for Blood movie on that, you know, as a feature, but then I couldn't get the releases from the people in it. Um, it was just too difficult because I was here. Um, also, have you heard anything from Gary Cohen about Video Violence 3? Three, three, a private message to me, by the way, he contacted me because I'm a huge fan. Yeah, I remember I talked to him a long time ago. He said he was doing it, but then I never heard more about it. Lastly, I have talked to recently, have you talked recently to John McBride? I mean, he called me recently and I missed the call, so hopefully he calls me again soon so we can catch up. Um, let me see. We'll, where do you get all the money for your DVDs? It's from working. Um, people ask that a lot. Um, I wanted to ask anyway. Yeah. Something about fabric on a cam chat. Um, what is better, crunchy or regular peanut butter? Regular. Also grape or strawberry? I usually like strawberry better. Favorite movie this year? Worst movie this year? Um, for worst movie this year, that creature was pretty bad, you know what I mean? You know, I love Sid Haig, you know, I went, I went to see the movie totally just because he was in it. I was glad to see him in a theatrical movie again, but I didn't care for the movie. It really wasn't that great. You know, that drive, which I recently saw, really was pretty good. You know, I, I don't always love movies like that, but that was really pretty good. Um, do you know when Haunted High School will be on the Sci-Fi Channel? Um, I'm not sure for that. I know it's going to have to be sometime next year. I know that for sure. You know, there's a lot of effects work to do and things like that. And I'm sure, you know, they have to plan to the sci-fi, like, when's the best time of the year to air it and things like that. Also, how do you feel about Shout Factory and Nick putting out their own shows on DVD? I think that's a good thing. I, I like that a lot better, too, than those burn-on-demand discs. Because they've always had errors in them. Are you a fan of Mystery Science Theater or Breaking Bad? I like Mystery Science Theater sometimes. I've never watched Breaking Bad, though. Have you ever seen the uh, classic John Cusack movie, Better Off Dead, which just hit Blu-ray, Keep Up the Good Work? Yeah, somehow that's another one I never saw. Um, how, hi, did you ever wanted to make videos of your old filming locations? Like, this past summer I went to Monroe Rome Mall where the 70s Dawn of the Dead was filmed and made a video. I was wondering if you were into doing that. It would, it would seem cool for your channel because you're into movie and, and related stuff. I know Sarah Mom and Pecker were made around your hometown in Maryland. Well, I mean, if you look at the video blogs we did in Maryland, I mean, you're probably like, you know, at least a dozen different times looking at things, you know, locations. That, you know, I just lived there and never even were taking notice of it. Like, the one road I used to go to a camp was like the Sarah Mom Road. Um, so many different things. Like, um, where I went, I went to the high school in Sierra Mom. So it was like I was, wasn't even thinking to do a video of that then. Um, I did always want to go to that Monroeville Mall, though. Um, if you were asked to make Out the Girl a movie, will you do it and how would you feel about it? How would you prefer? prefer? Also, if the scene asked for you to kiss a man, would you do it? Do you have any limits in terms of what you won't do in a film? Well, I already did like, an, like a, a make-out scene in Girls Gone Dead. You know, that's not going to be out for a little while, though. But I don't want to ruin the whole scene, but I've already done that. And then, you know, I wasn't nervous about it. And would you wake up with a man? I mean, if, if it was like a scene they called for, I mean, like, not for some, like, cheesy, no-budget movie that I wasn't getting paid or something. I mean, if it was a real movie, legitimate movie, you know, I mean, I, you know, it was acting. It's not like, you know, I'm you know, going out with a person afterwards. Um, <laughs> um, have you ever seen... A movie in a store and avoided buying it. And avoid, avoided buying it. I guess it was something I didn't like. Um, if you had to choose, would you live in a world without music, a world without movies, a world with where everything tastes like cardboard? Should I choose one. Does it mean one or not? I guess I'd be rather be in a movie a world without music, but but then the films I guess wouldn't have music. What advice can you give me to get into film? 
I don't know if you mean get in films. I mean, I guess I mean get in film. I guess I would just say, you know, we'll start shooting, you know, videos of you doing reenactments and stuff and go to acting class. I mean, you don't really have to go to acting classes. That Sometimes, you know, that's a good thing. Sometimes it's not. I don't know. That's a, that's a weird one. But, I mean, if you wanted to get into films like watching, I would probably say just, um, I don't know, just, like, pick a type of movie you want to see. And I did a lot of videos on, like, the top 70s movies and stuff. Like, not, I'm not saying no, those are, like, the top ones, but those are just ones I liked, personally. Um... What were you doing on 9-11? Um, I was in the cafeteria. I remember like, when I heard about it, I was in the cafeteria eating lunch. And I remember that. And, like, that was back when I was real, I was really paranoid about that, too. So I remember, like, I think, like, the next day they had a um, alarm or something. That was when everybody was really panicking. And then I got real panicked in school. I remember that. I didn't do well around that time. What's your favorite Chinese food dish? Um, I would say probably, like, shrimp fried rice. And that salt and pepper shrimp. That's more at the Verona Buffet, but I guess you could say that Chinese. Your favorite snack to eat while watching a movie? Um, maybe I like those popcorn chips, I guess there are. Um, most memorable Halloween. I always had bad times at Halloween because, like, I always looked so much big, like, bigger and older, you know, even as a kid. So, I like, I had to stop trick-or-treating when I was, like, eight or nine years old, you know, and I sporadically tried to do it, like, one or two times after then, you know, after I was in, like, the fifth grade, and it didn't go well, everyone always was like, you were a little old to be trick-or-treating, and I feel like now, they don't care, I see, like, parents doing it, and they give it to them, but back then, I felt like people were slightly more buttholes about things. Have you ever thought about acting, losing weight? You can't have an acting career when you're dead. Well, that's a bit of an asshole thing to say, but, you know, you know, Swipe. But yeah, you know, I've thought about losing weight. You know what I mean? But then, you know, we'll, we'll see. How, I'm going to see how all the actors who've lost weight do a skinny, because I'm curious to see that. You know what I mean? Because, you know, I wouldn't mind losing some weight, but I'm not getting skinny. I have no interest. And people ask me that all the time. You know? And I, and I don't eat myself to death. And so, some people, like, don't even seem to realize, too, that I'm like a giant. I'm not fat, just fat. I have, like, extreme bone structure. You know, these are all, this is bones, this isn't fat. You know, and pe a lot of people, when they see me in person, are like, shit. Because I'm, like, big all over. And it's, you know, a little bit of an awkward big guy. So, you know, see, other people I know who are heavy have, like, a different type of fatness. I'm, like, a big all over kind of guy. You know, so it's kind of like I've been this way since, like, fifth grade. If not, no, even before I was, like, a giant. I don't mean fat, I just mean big. <laughs> um, where I mostly know, where blank, I mostly know what movies have you acted in. My question is, where can you actually buy on DVD? Well, I mean, some of them that are out, you can get it on Amazon. That's pretty much where everything's going to be. Like, I mean, you know, in this day and age, if anything comes to stores, who knows? I mean, I think some will. Um, but, you know, Amazon is where everything pretty much goes. Um... When will the It remake come out? What are your thoughts on It so far? Same things with the Thing remake. There's all these things about the Thing, you know, being a prequel, and some people are like, oh no, it's actually a remake. You know, it looks all right. I'm not that interested in it. I'll, you know, I'll see it. You know, the It remake, you know, I don't know anybody else that can play that, the clown, Pennywise, but Tim Curry. I really don't. You know, I, I mean, that's just such... I don't know. I, I loved him in that part. Um, do you enjoy the Trailer Park Boys? I never really watched that. Uh, what movies like Break Up, Jack, Batman, Mask, The Phantasm, and My Centennial Man get a Blu-ray release? Did you ever like Two and a Half Men? What do you think about Charlie Sheen? I mean, Charlie Sheen's weird. You know, I've never had any major issues with him, though. Um, you know, hopefully he gets everything together in his life. I know he's trying to right now with that Charlie Sheen 2.0 or whatever. But, you know, him getting off of Two and a Half Men was a big screw-up. Um, you know, Bat Batman, that's on Blu-ray. I think Mask is on Blu-ray. Um, I don't think Jack is. I think Breakup is on Blu-ray. 
Phantasm is in Bicentennial Man. I'm not sure if Bicentennial Man is, I think, Disney? So that might come out as one of those $5 ones. If it's a mirror, I'm not sure. Um, oops, I forgot this is possible. I can schedule an interview. If you be with Skype or something, always been a dream of mine. But yeah, we can try and plan something. I don't use Skype too much. I mean, over the phone is usually a better way. I don't I've never really done Skype very much. You know, I liked doing it too when I had the laptop computer. And then that last, I think a year, a year ago, when I was in MJ's house, I had it on a table and I pulled the table and it kind of like vibrated on the floor because it was a hard basement and it broke or something. It never worked again. Um, I guess that's all for this part because it's 25 minutes. Anyway though, thanks a lot for watching and I'll try and get to the next part soon.